Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner. Oh, I know you get the big sigh like so many times. It always takes so much longer uh, to do everything than a one expects. So I'm refreshing my computer. I am super happy that it is Wednesday. All right, let's see. Oop, let me do it one more time. That it is Wednesday, it's 1130 and today is August 25th, 2021. So that pertains uh, to the classes and to the specials. But this technique, oh my goodness, you, <laughs> you know I love a little DSP. And you know I've loved strips of DSP. But sometimes I'm not good at using those little strips of DSP that are left over. But now I am, now I am. You are gonna be so good at it too. You are gonna be excellent at it after I show you this. Um, and I've seen this before, but I really just really dived in and played with it and I ended up making a bunch of cards. Well, I made two and we're gonna make two together and um, we'll talk all about it. Okay, so as I said, it is Wednesday the 25th, 2021. Welcome. If you are here, give me a like, give me a love, let me know that you're watching. If you're on YouTube or watching the replay, totally fine. I love it when I see on YouTube someone's like, I'm watching from Washington State or whatever. I love that because um, then I know that someone um, it, that someone saw my video and it's so super fun. Okay, now I have an itchy nose. <laughs> so let me get us to the desk. Okay, and then let's see. Ooh, I did. You guys are going to be excited. You're going to be excited. I've got it all figured out. Look at that. Look at that. I'm like a pro. <laughs> um, okay. So for my upcoming classes, I posted two of them on Facebook and my website. Um, I think the easiest place to see it is my website, audramonk.stampinup.net. You should just bookmark that or make that a button on your um, phone and then it'll, you can click events and you can see them laid out. There's a calendar view or you, when you click them, there's a picture and there's a description. And it's so much easier and clearer than Facebook because Facebook is sometimes wackadoo. I'm just saying. I put all the information there, but I know even when I've been on Facebook before, um, sometimes I'm there and there's no description. And people are like, how much does this class cost? And I'm not calling out you, Carlin, if Carlin watches this. Um, because I know she clicked interested and then she messaged me, how much does the class cost? I'm like, well, I put the price in there. Um, but I think it's Facebook. Sometimes you don't see it. So go to my website, audramonk.stampinup.net. That's the easiest. You can even RSVP there. But then of course you have to send payment because payment is what reserves your spot. Because I'm just telling you that no demonstrator wants to cut all of this paper and then have someone not pay for it. It makes you very sad. Um, so I don't cut you paper unless you pay me. Unless you're on my team and I know you, then there are exceptions because you're on my team. I know that you're going to pay, but Hey, Janet. So this, um, I'm showing you these two project sets, these classes, because they're a little different than just cards and just cards Christmas and their RSVP dates are just about the same time. Okay. So this is the, and I got a post-it note. Well, I'll put it up higher so you can even see it. So this is the Halloween sampler. It's $25 for pickup. Okay. There's always extra for shipping. Um, it will include all of the paper pre-cut, all of the die cuts on this one are included, okay? But you have to have the stamp set. I cannot stamp it for you. It is against Stampin' Up! rules and one, secondly, I don't have time to stamp it for you. I barely have time to die cut all the stuff for you. Um, and then there will be a video that of me together and you can pause it and stop it and start it and make this whenever it is right for you. Okay, so this one, um, I think you have to RSVP by the 20th. I take the RCPs most of the time on Monday and then the kits are ready to ship or be picked up on Friday. Okay, so this is this one. It is so cute. I am so excited and it only needs one stamp set. And I wanna say that this stamp set is like $19. It's very affordable. Um, and you could use it to make lots of other things. So this is our first class um, that I already got. I'm so excited. I already have four or five RSVPs. That makes me super happy. Okay, and then our next one, now this one is a little different and I did this for the Just Cards Christmas. Um, this is this beautiful, oh, it's upside down, this beautiful little um, scene and this is an eight by eight project and then there are four cards and look, I want you to look at them. They're all really pretty. This one uses all the trees. This one you've seen before, but it's still so pretty. Okay, now, and then I reworked a couple of these. Look at this. This is so many layers of that beautiful DSP and I love this um, 
evening evergreen for those trees and lots of sequins lots of sequins on there and I showed you this one I posted it this is um look at all those sequins in there this is a shaker card and I went I went and had fun um and look oh I got fancy on the inside and I think I got fancy on the inside of one of the other ones let's see yes putting those little scraps oh my gosh this is so cool because this is another way to use a little scraps like I'm going to show you today um I, I and I think I didn't finish these but anyway this class includes the supplies all of this paper will be cut and ready for you um, but nothing will be die cut because on this one you need the whole bundle and if you buy the bundle from me with the host code you get five dollars off your class okay but you need the bundle so this is more for my avid crafters or ones that are ready to dive in and if you're a demonstrator and you already have the bundle that's no worries you just buy the class so I separate it out and both classes if you just want the PDF and the tutorial video there's a price for that I think one is eight and one is ten because this one takes a lot more time um, so there you go and then just cards and just cards Christmas it's gonna be a busy wonderful uh, September okay so let me move this out of the way and I'll show you I just don't want this stuff to be falling off because I don't want it to get damaged okay oh and I forgot the peaceful cabin set that was $38 but that includes a half a pack of DSP your own roll of ribbon and your own pack of sequins which I think is like with tax and shipping is like $26 so the actual class is like $12. And if you order the bundle for me with the host code, you save $5. So there you go. All right, now let's talk about card making. Yes, Amy, PDF for the cabin video. So if you just wanna buy just the PDF and the video, um, you can do that. Just looking at the comments here. Okay, da -da -da -da. good, I think we're good. All right, so now we are gonna make some cards. So see these little strips? Like I did strips at the bottom of those cards. That's a great way to use a little extra DSP. But I had some fun playing with little strips. And so I'm gonna show you this version today and some cool techniques um, to use with it. Um, this, oh, I'm in the middle of cutting that sunflower banner and this paper is still so beautiful. I love it. And so I actually have a bunch of little scraps and I was like, this is the perfect use of this paper when you have those little scraps. Okay. So let's pull this in. We're gonna make two different ones. And this one I have like kind of ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you a little, you know what, should I show you the technique first? No, we'll do this one first. And then I'll show you how to cut this because um, you can cut the three eight inch strips, but see how, let me put this together. Let me lift it up. See how I kept the picture intact? Like the snowman, snowmans, the snowflakes that go together are together. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, okay so this is that uh, free I just call it the deer paper I don't know what it's called spend $50 you can get this paper for free and you really should do it and just in case you didn't know celebration we're already at the end almost at the end of the second month it's only two months it's only two months of free stuff okay so this one's real easy we're just gonna attach I used all DSP on this one and I'm gonna keep those in order um, this piece is two by four so the same size on here I did two and a quarter but I decided I wanted to see more of the white space oh and I don't know if you could see I put those music notes embossing folder back here and I did see a video so and I haven't confirmed but I saw a video from a demonstrator she said it's joy to the world and she gave a tip on how to put the notes the right way up look at the um, treble clef the problem is I don't usually emboss my paper on that side. Um, so I just looked at the treble clef and then I made sure and put my um, my music notes the right way. Okay, so we're gonna attach this. But I just want you to see how quick and easy this card is. And then we're gonna have a lot of fun and do an Audra style card with lots of labor, label, lots of layers. And don't worry, Audra style cards are like this too. And in my Just Cards classes, I try to keep the cards a little simpler that class is pretty inexpensive and there are only so many hours in the day that a person can cut paper and today I will be cutting lots of paper because I'm prepping the sunflower truck banners so you can put it anywhere you want uh, on this one I put it a little higher this one I put it a little lower it's totally fine and then what I recommend you do is lay these all on here together and decide where you want them 
You may want them close. You may want them far. You may want them with a fox in a car. And I don't, well, I think that's green eggs and ham. Okay, so then I'm gonna put the little deer. And this is how I saw this um, sample. I saw a demonstrator post it and she did it with a, a little deer. I think she used, she may have used that paper. I can't remember now. Um, but it had been on my mind that I wanted to make something that uses lots of little scraps. And I'm gonna keep it super simple. Ooh, this could be one of my Just Cards cards for Just Cards Christmas because it's easy and quick. All right, and then we need two antlers. I'm gonna do the antlers in, uh, what's this color? Soft suede. It's one of my favorites. So I think this placement is good, right? So the main reason I was doing this is because you wanna see how far or how close do you want your little strips to be? Ooh, I like that. I just look, it's so funny how sometimes looking at it on the screen or on a picture, you're like, ooh, I do like that. Yes, yeah, celebration is till September 30th, but we're almost at the end of August, and then there's only one more month to go. So it has two months. Yes, if I said a different date, I apologize, but celebration is August and September. Maybe I think that it's the end of the month because I'm going on vacation on Sunday. So I have to end my month on Sunday. And just to let you know, while I am gone, I will have three days with or more with very limited internet. So if I don't get back to you right away, it's okay. When I am back, um, especially when I get to my parents or when I get to my brothers, I can help you. All right. And then we're just going to add words. All right. So let's put this on. The main point of this was how close. And I kind of liked them close. If this is embossed, I would use glue. That's what I used on the other two cards I show you. But this is not embossed. So I'm pretty sure my stamp and seal, which did not come out until the end of that, can help. Okay, Janet, I see you. I will give him, I will give him a, a Rudolph nose. Is this color cherry cobbler? You know what? I'm gonna look. This might be real red. No, maybe it's cherry cobbler. It is. I think it's cherry cobbler. I think Janet's called it. So she says he needs a Rudolph nose. And I can do that. I'm not going to give him an eye, just a nose. Okay, so I want to give a little bit of space. And, and you, you might say, well, why would you do this, right? It adds, sorry, I cannot talk and put a thing on straight for the life of me. It adds visual interest to have that space in there. Um, so in this case, I'm not actually using scraps, right? Because what I did was I cut a piece two and a half by three, which is actually pretty small and then I cut it apart. So I'm gonna show you that. But if your pieces are random, like you're using something with a random pattern, I do not even know if this is going on straight, then you're totally using scraps, which is what I did on the two samples that I showed you. I just took a couple little scraps. I actually got to cut them down even smaller. Okay, so I put them on there with a little bit of space. And then we're gonna put this little guy on here with glue dots. Okay, so he needs a nose. We have, oh, I don't want those antlers. Where are the other antlers? Oh, and this is really funny. My, oh, here's one. My husband was like, hey, come look at the dog's water bowl. There is a little piece of pink paper, like, like one of these things, like that came out of something floating in there. He goes, it must have been stuck on the dog. And so it was kind of funny. All right, so I need a little tiny bit of cherry cobbler. I mean, like the littlest, tiniest bittest. Is that cherry cobbler? Okay. <laughs> and I can find like all the colors. I don't know. I talk to you about my scrap bins every once in a while. I don't know if I'm going to rework how I do scraps, but this is how I do them currently. The red, yellows, oranges, and purples are all together. And then all the blues and greens are together. I picked this scrap because I obviously messed something up before. And all I need is this little dot. But occasionally it's hard to find something. Okay, so what is the chance? Ooh, a red rhinestone. Hold your horses. Someone suggested, ooh, what about one of these? I don't even know what these are. I try to keep the current and the uncurrent things separate. Oh, we're totally going rhinestone, but I can't get it off of that one. I need to find the other tip to that. I have two of those. Um, Take your pick tools, because I love them. And uh, now see our, oh, that is so cute. Thank you, Lisa. Look how cute that is. 
I mean, you can't get cuter than your little Rudolph. So a little red rhinestone. Um, but as I was saying, I try to like go through the embellishments and I have two bins, but sometimes they get missed and I don't always double check. So if I ever use an embellishment that is not current, there's probably something similar that we could use. Okay, and then we're gonna put his little antlers on. Oh, he's so cute. This punch, this little guy is so, so cute. And I don't, <laughs> I like the scissors for getting my glue dots off. So I need to put this glue dot on the back of his head because he's gonna have some antlers. And I don't know which way they're supposed to face. And I'm really hoping that when we're in Yellowstone, I mean, okay, I can see deer anywhere. I live in Maryland. Although you don't often see them with the big antlers. That is so cute. I wonder, do I want, and then what kind of greeting? I think a little strip greeting on these kind of cards is really nice. Did I do that on the samples? I don't even know. Oh no, on this one, I just put that little Mary in the middle of that heart, uh, not heart, that star. And this one I used a big, um, because I went horizontal, and these are three-fourths inch pieces I used. That's from the Tasteful somethings. No, actually, that might be from the Hippos. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. People are talking about their their pets with um, things stuck to them. And I know I've had things stuck to me in weird places. Um, it just happens when you're crafting. Okay. And then this. Oh, yes, I like that. Cause that white goes in with this white. All right, so we need a long Christmas greeting. Let me look. Hello, thank you so much. No, 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 no. I got out a couple stamp sets. Ah, you know, Christmas to remember, it's the best. Let's do the Merry Christmas. And we are gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in the green. I think that'll be fun. All right, in the green. Do I need, oh, I need a long block. I did not get any long blocks out. I had so many blocks on my desk from the other day. Okay, so some tips on your block. When you're putting, line it up on your grid paper. Oh my gosh, I can't even finish a sentence today. When you're putting your stamps on, and then you can look at the grid paper line and get it on there straight. Good, all right, and now I'm thinking green, and I think that's garden green pretty sure isn't it funny but okay so we fuss about the colors if you have limited stamps ink, oh, sorry limited inks you're gonna use whatever green you have whatever red you have and it's probably gonna be okay but as you develop your love of paper crafting you're gonna realize that the most exciting thing about Stampin' Up is that everything coordinates Garden green is garden green. Ink, paper, ribbon, embellishment. Uh, evening evergreen is evening evergreen. I'm looking at all the greens. Like, there's a difference. Like, look, let me show you a bunch of stamp pads. All beautiful greens, but all slightly different. Um, you know, when you're sending it to your old granny, she's not going to know or know or care. Maybe. Only if because, you know, her eyesight is not as good. as She's still going to love the card. Um, but she might not be able to see those divisions of color. But we have them, and we can make use of that. And that is why I love Stampin' Up. And I did not know this was going to be a commercial, but apparently it is. That is why I love Stampin' Up over going to uh, the craft store. Um, you know, sometimes you got to go to the craft store. But sometimes, ooh, that would have been pretty on this plaid, um, this card. I think you could have done it either way. I think I have deer on my DSP side. But what I love, I, I mean, I understand it takes longer to get your stuff, um, but our catalog is beautiful. I mean, you can't get that inspiration at a craft store. If you're lucky, they have a flyer, right? Our, but it's our color coordination. Everything matches because it's all the same brand. It is all Stampin' Up! brand. And this is Sahara Sand. I'm pretty sure that's creme cake, so I cut out that, which is what I did the deer. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be adorable. Okay, glue dots. But it's, it's the matchy-matchy. I like the matchy-matchy. Sometimes I have to let it go because, you know, you can't always, always do it. But if you can, it is amazing. I have that problem. I love all my fun wild leggings. But every once in a while, like, my shirt is not quite... I wish I wish the shirts could be exactly the same colors, too. 
All right, and then those legs, I don't, <laughs> it sounds funny, I don't want my deer to lose its legs, so I'm gonna put, did you see how I just tap that glue dot to um, crunkle it a little bit? Just a little. And so I'm just gonna do the back leg. So I'm just squishing it a little bit. And then I'm gonna do that one bottom leg. So this deer will never fall off his card. I love mini glue dots. Look at that. That deer, oh my gosh, that little gem, whatever kind of rhinestone gem it is, is amazing. Should I put, no, I like it right there. Okay, so that little guy goes there. And then this is what gets to go on a dimensional. Yes, yes, look at this, the sizing is perfect. I mean, I could not have planned that better. Let's just see if I can cut it straight. I could use a cutter, but you know. Yes, and then that's going on some dimensionals. Okay, I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be one of the Just Cards Christmas. And I already have one other set designed. I think I showed you this. This is gonna be one of the cards, this little pair. And then this will be one. Okay, so my other card will not be green and red. It will be some other color because we have two green and red ones for our traditionalists. And then I always like to have something blue, pink. I don't know. We'll find something. Ta-da! And how cute is that card? That card is super cute. I have just made myself very happy. Look at that little guy. Okay, let's make one more. And this is funny because my second sample where I was gonna show you this, I went very non-traditional colors. Very, so you know, oh, look at, just look at that colors together. This is that Whimsy and Wonder paper. This is our new in color pink. Polished pink? I think it's polished pink. Misty Moonlight, that's another, of our in colors, and I will be very sad when Misty Moonlight goes away. This is um, Mint Macron. I'm pretty sure that was the color in that present, so I picked that. And there's sparkle, sparkle in this foil paper. Okay, so this is what you need to know. This piece of paper, let me double check, is three inches tall and two and a half inches wide. And that's what will get you these four little panels that will work so nicely. All right, so you bring in your trimmer. Oh my gosh. I've made a mess. Hold on, let me <laughs> let me get things back because I'll need them. Okay, and I don't need. Ooh, wouldn't it be cute? I cut out those trees, but what if we had a pink deer or a blue deer? I think that would be really cute. Okay, so here's your cutting. You a small trimmer like this probably works the best because you need five eighths, which is two lines after the half five eighths and I did the math to figure this out so I was pretty excited and then you're just gonna go again five eighths and if I cut it wrong on the video I will cut another piece really fast and then one more time at five eighths and this will keep your picture intact now if you have um, like what's on the back oh yeah like, so if you had just this on a long strip this way, just cut it. Ooh, although that one doesn't look quite like five eighths. I don't know, it's, we're gonna count. It worked on that one. It should really work on this one. Um, you could just, just cut it up and use the pieces and they don't have to match. But I thought it was fun to make it match. Okay, all right, let's see. So, and I cut the trees out of both colors because I wasn't sure which tree I wanted big and which tree I wanted small. All right, so this polished pink, we're gonna fold it in half. And then this is gonna go in here. We're just laying, you, I, what did someone tell me? A uh, dry layout or something. It's good to just check. And this is gonna go here. I think I'm gonna do it lower, like more in the middle. And then my, little pieces that make up a pile of presents. Hold on, I gotta make the picture. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, that goes there. Um, no. Oh my goodness, I cannot make the picture. <laughs> that is super funny. So apparently it must not matter. 
No, because see, that doesn't fit right. Aha, maybe because. Doo, 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 doo. See, it's like a puzzle. We do puzzles on these videos a lot. Ta-da, I did it. Okay, so there there will be my, my presence. I like that. And then I was thinking we would do this circle because I, w I didn't think that the trees would show up super well without it. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna add a little greeting. Although I'm gonna make it really small. We're gonna do the joy from this set. All right, I'm not even totally sure I'm sold on the trees. We may have to, could I just put them on there? All alone? I don't know. We're gonna put the base down and then we'll decide. And if I can't decide, you might just see a half finished card. Oh, <laughs> this candy corn um, is from the, the set with the cat and the skull. Somebody was asking, see that one little stray candy corn I have stamped there? It is from the cutest Halloween set. There is a three candy corn and a one candy corn, and that's the one. And I use that on my big fancy double Z fold card on Monday's video. So that is a super cute set. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So Amy says use the circle. Okay, so we'll see. All right, let's slide these away and put this together and try to keep them in order. And if you didn't see on the back of this paper, look, it's the little trees and stars. Ooh, what if I had a star? But I don't have a, ooh, hold your horses. I have a star die. We might do, we might cut that out. All right, let's put this on. This side's pretty too, but I thought to go with the polished pink background, we need the other side. And I do not know what's on the back of the trees. I'll flip it over in just a second. So I'm gonna put this right in the middle-ish. Yeah, I was like, I since the first card was ready, I was like, I bet I can make two cards in my half hour. Okay, let's see what's on the back. Ooh, that's so pretty. That is very pretty. That would have looked good cut apart too. Okay, and then we're gonna put these on here. Yes. Oops, I got a little Rudolph nose running around. Okay, and then also next week, cause I'll be away, there's probably not gonna be any videos. If I get super inspired and have time on Friday, if I can get this uh, sunflower sampler done, I'll be working on it all day today after lunch. Um, I might try to record a video that I can post because now it's really cool. With um, the Facebook and the Instagram, you can schedule your posts. So occasionally I actually do that. Not as much as I probably should. I'm, as you have realized, more of a fly by the seat of your pants uh, crafter and worker. But look at me trying to work ahead and get all the cards designed before I go out of town. I'll be sending out an email sometime by the end of the week, or at least by Sunday, it'll be ready to go with all the information, oops, on all of the classes. Okay, we are doing so well. I'm very excited. Oops, okay, well, it's going there. It's a little bit closer, but I like it that you can tell um, what the presents are. I kind of feel like we need some silver. That is silver, right? Yes. We need that silver. Hold on. Let me get it out. This, um, let me see what it's called. It's called Simply Elegant Trim, and it comes in silver and gold. It's a two-pack, and I think it's in the annual catalog. I think, oh, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Yes, I'm going to totally do that. I think it's in the annual catalog, but I really like it. It's a nice weight. Um, okay, nothing, nothing can beat the silver, the, the foil threads we used to have. So see how, ooh, no, I'm going to fix that. Um, I adored them. I use them all the time. There we go. But, um, we don't have them anymore but this is a very nice second this is a little bit more along the lines of like Baker's twine kind of feel 
Yes, okay, and then that needs two dimensionals to hold it. Get okay, and I gotta look. So what you wanna do with your dimensionals is you need to straddle, you know, I'm gonna just stick them on there, straddle your ribbon. I don't think that things stick super well to ribbon and twine. All right, so I've committed to my circle. And now let's decide what kind of, oh, you know what, I should get the words so then we'll know what kind of trees we want. And I'm gonna trim off those long sticks. I'm not gonna leave them super long. I might leave them medium long. Okay, so the stamp set. I could use that little tiny Mary that I just used, but I thought, oh, here it is. See, in this uh, Whimsical Trees, there's this little joy, and I think it's really pretty. So I was gonna use that. Here it is. So it needs a little piece of paper. We can use that same little piece of paper we had. Ah, oh, I like that, okay. So, hmm, it's really tiny. You know what, maybe we're not gonna use it. What about this, it says, let your heart be light. That's kind of pretty. We'll use this. And I feel like, I feel like we should embrace the pink and stamp it in polished pink. All right. All right, and again, I like, um, oops, what kind of time? Is it 12 o'clock? It is 12 o'clock. My cuckoo is actually on time. Sorry, you got the long cuckoo. I like to turn my block diagonal, but then line up my phrase, because then, look at that. Did you see that? That was on the first try. I get a consistent, for me, that really works. Make sure it's straight, and then when you hold it, you've, you've got it. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to have to do it twice, because that was my first one. But apparently, oops, <laughs> look, there's a penguin running around. I think uh, next month I'll have to do penguins um, on the Just Cards Christmas class. Let your heart be light. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, let's put it on, and then we'll put it on our card. All right, so we're going to get some glue dots for these little guys. Oh, hi, Ian. Welcome. Yes, aren't these colors fun? Um, this could actually be a Just Cards uh, Christmas card because the stamping is just the sentiment. Look at that. I'm keeping it simple today. All right. I think on Friday, though, there will be a lot of stamping. And actually, for September, whoo, I've been playing with those um, leaves. i got to work on my technique just a little bit. I am going to show you how to watercolor your stamped image and it makes it even more amazing. Um, but I don't feel super confident yet and I haven't had as much time as I would like to play with it. So look for that. Well, it won't be till like mid-September because <laughs> I'm gonna be away for a while and so busy, busy. Okay, so I put a dimensional there but I'm gonna do a glue dot under there. Um, so we will definitely have some stamping. And, oh my goodness. I feel like it needs rhinestones too, but let's put it on and then we'll put some rhinestones on it. It needs a little more bling. Did I get it all on there? Ooh, yeah, and I'll give a little extra where the stuff is. Ooh, that polished pink is so bright. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if in just, so I might have to save this one for next month because I don't know if in my Christmas just cards, people would want two cards of the same design, but look how different they look. It's so different. Okay. We need rhinestones though. I can't send you on your way. Oh, until we have rhinestones. Can I reach the rhinestones? So my desk, um, I have this super awesome desk. That I paid a ton of money for um, and it has drawers oh my gosh but it has um, those pull out trays on the sides so like when I'm doing something there's trays on the sides and it's so nice because I can put all this extra stuff around oh my goodness but when the trays are out it's hard to get in the drawers look at that 
All right. That is super fun. That is very, very fun. Hey, Zoe. Do we have iridescent sequins? I don't know, Janet, but those would be so fun. But look at this. So let me show you them all now. So you can legit use your scraps, but you can also get fancy and make the card where you keep the picture together. All right, hold on. Look at me putting things away while still on the video. Okay. But all those little strips, these are three eighths by three. Um, I had to go out of my comfort zone and try. These were legit scraps from cutting my banner and these are three fourths by three. Look at that. They all look so different. So, and this one I didn't do this strip behind. I did this, um, this embossing folder. Timeless, I don't know, where it's like print and there's like, it's like scruffled. So, there is a lot of really fun cards using little strips of DSP. Me and DSP, we should just get married. I remember um, my niece, I think it was my niece, or maybe it was my son, used to say that. Like if you say, oh, I love pizza. Well, why don't you marry it? Well, I'm marrying DSP. If I had to be one crafting tool, I would be paper. I would be beautiful designer paper where some artist has made me and then the avid intermediate beginner crafter can make something really awesome with it. So there we go, my friends. Questions, comments are always welcome. Um, I hope that you make one of these cards. I will definitely post these um, probably tonight. I can post them on, um, because I gotta do, I gotta work on that banner. There will be yoga at two-ish, so um, look for a little live to pop up and we can do a little five to 10 minutes of yoga together because by then I need a break. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I am so excited that I got to share this with you guys today. I appreciate it. Um, I adore you. Um, give me likes, give me love, subscribe, um, click the bell, do all of the things that you need to do so that you can find these videos, um, whether you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Stay crafty, friends.